Alpacas are kept in herds that graze on level heights of the Andes of Ecuador, southern Peru, northern Bolivia, and northern Chile at an altitude of 3,500 to 500 meters above sea level. Alpacas are considerably smaller than llamas and unlike them are not used as beasts of burden but are valued only for their fiber. Alpaca fiber is used for making knitted and woven items. Alpacas have been domesticated for thousands of years. Alpacas played a central role in the ancient civilizations of South Africa. By the time of Inca Empire, alpaca was so highly prized that it was reserved for use by the royalty. Uh, people have called them everything from stuck-up sheep to uh, a lot of people call them emus, not realizing that an emu is a bird. Back in 1997, I mentioned to Ed that it would be really fun to have a llama, and basically he told me I was cracked, and I was crazy, and that was kind of the end of that. My name is Kathy Whitehead, and my husband Ed Hutchings and I are co-owners of Alpacas of Newfoundland in Felix Cove on the Port of Port Peninsula. We began our research in 97. Uh, we did a lot of research on the internet and contacting breeders across Canada. And uh, I also did a tour of the northeastern United States and visited eight farms just to see what it was all about. And uh, in September 1998, we took possession of five alpacas and one llama from Salt Spring Island in British Columbia. There was some, come some concern that they might carry diseases into the province that could affect the moose population and uh, we had to prove to the government that this wasn't the case and once we did that there was no problem bringing them in. Uh, getting the business going was difficult. Uh, there's never been any alpacas in Newfoundland before so there was a, a little bit of government red tape to go through. Um, also we're not farmers so all we had was book knowledge so there's been quite a steep learning curve as, as we've gone through the years. They're used strictly for their fiber. We, sh we shear them like a sheep and we send their fiber to Prince Edward Island to the Belfast Mini Mill. So we get different products made from our alpaca fiber which we sell in our shop. Actually alpacas are really easy to raise. Um, like I said, neither Ed nor I were farmers. Um, basically they need to be fed and watered every day. Once a year we shear them just like a sheep. We take all their fiber off them. But on a day-to-day -day basis it's very minimal. When we first started with our, our small number of animals, um, one of the neighbors dropped by the, the first year we had them and said, like, you know, there's a lot of people dropping by, maybe you should look at having a craft store. And we had never really even thought about that part of it. So the we got them in September 98, so summer 99 we had a little craft store in our barn. And we did that for two years, then we moved into the living room in the house. And then uh, three years ago we built a thousand square foot store and interpretation center here on the farm. Right now we're open from June to September daily, uh, but my husband's going to retire from his off-farm job uh, next summer, so we're hoping to be open also longer periods during the year. But, uh, we also intend to, uh, we're looking at international markets like now, such as Iceland for export. I like the lifestyle, I like being out in the barn. Uh, I prefer the, the farm aspect to, to the business aspect. I, I like the you know, daily maintenance of the barn and the feeding, and, and I enjoy shearing. That's, that's a huge job, but we've gotten better and better as we go over the years, and we're, we're getting quicker at it. So it's, uh, I, it's just, they're beautiful animals, they're, they're gorgeous creatures, they're very gentle, and, and they're interesting, and they're different, and, and that's what I like about it. 